Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Gabriela Daughtry, and today we have the honor to um, present Omar Rithamar. He is actually a social media guru in my eyes. I have, I have known Omar about a year, I believe, like interacting, but actually I've known about him for several years. And let me read a little bit about him. And I have to read this because he is actually um, born in Puerto Rico. He lives in Jersey for the past 22 years. He is married to his beautiful wife and has two grown children. And he is a grandpa. He is a young grandpa. Um, he works in engineering support team for the Northeast Transportation Company as a paint technician and was introduced to this profession almost 11 years ago. He committed to take a deep dive in 2018. So, Omar, tell, tell us a little bit more. All right, welcome everybody. Good evening, happy Wednesday, wherever you're connecting from. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, if you're like in Europe or Philippines. Um, thank you, Gary. Thank you for bringing me on. It's so amazing to be able to share a virtual stage with you. And to be honest, one of my dreams is to be able to sit at a big convention stage with you and Dave. So that's on my bucket list. One of these days I'll achieve that. We'll be able to sit at the white couches, the white sofa, that convention. I, I, I just can't wait, but I dream of that day. So thank you so much. Um, I didn't know you were like, you know, you been kind of like watching me for a while. Um, I do my best to try to get the attention out there, but I've been really most devoted in, in this profession for the past five years or so. I wasn't so passionate about it at first because I didn't understand it. So I've been, I've been, you know, blessed enough to touch people in different places. I've been, I'm here in Jersey, but I have people in Brazil. I've touched people in, in Puerto Rico, over here in, in the States as well. And as we see the transition that has happened uh, with all the technology and all that, it makes it a lot, a lot easier. And it kind of like, it's been clicking. It's been clicking on me. But the reason I really want to like make this happen, it's beyond money. I, I started because I needed money. Now I saw, I found a purpose. I found a family and I found that I want to do this for my family. I want to do this to spend more time with them. We don't get any younger. I have a six-year-old grandson who's uh, the light of my eyes. He's kind of like thorough who care. He's very energetic. I don't know where he gets that from, but um, I, I want to be able to spend more time. I kind of failed a lot being a parent and being a young parent, not being there for them. So as, uh, as one of my friends, he's on here tonight, he said, uh, Jose Toro, I was debating between the two Ps debating between being a parent or a provider and in today's world many people are, are like that many people are you either a good provider or you're a parent but you really can't be both so when i found this opportunity well it found me it found me i was just looking for a way to make some extra money i got to a point where i was working my full-time job i was uh in the office that night and I was working at a barbershop on the weekends. So money was coming in, bills were being covered. Nothing was missing except for me. I was the only one missing hope. And I thought it was just me. Oh, big shout out to my beautiful wife. She just connected as well. This is my biggest support. This is the one that pushes me off sometimes when I'm like, and, and when I'm like a little under the weather or I'm not feeling it, I'm like, oh my God, I got 20 no's today. Go out there, keep going, keep pushing. She's the one that pushes me beyond and and has gotten the best out of me. And if it wasn't for her, I would have probably quit a long time ago. But thank God I have her in my life. Thank God I have you guys in my life because you guys have inspired me and have kept me right there so I can still, still see the vision of where I wanted to be and, and what I want to become. Not just see the moments, because guess what? I learned the hard way that entrepreneurship is not romantic. And I needed to shift my mind. I needed to shift from being an employee minded. Uh, I mean, I, I graduated at night. I couldn't finish school on time. So I had to graduate at night. 
I took a uh, electrician course uh, at a community college because I want to make things happen. But at the end of the day, it didn't really serve me. So I didn't have like all the, you know, academic accolades a lot of people have and all that success that people think is really success, which is not wrong with that. I just didn't have that. So I had to look for different alternatives. But at the age of 19, my daughter was born. And then either it was, I provide or I can keep, keep proud of where I was. You know, my wife didn't want a lazy man next to her. And I had told him, but I'm going to give you the world. And that was happening. So she went, where's the world you were going to give me? We spent for about 10, maybe 15 years without traveling. When I first came over here, then I brought them. But I'm being able to travel. When I met this opportunity, um, I've been able to take my family on vacations, take them to conventions, um, be able to travel other places, Puerto Rico, Orlando. And when I saw that this is possible, I said, I want to, I want to do this big now. Now I don't want to just play around and kind of like tippy toe in the water or just, no, I want to do this big because, and then I look around and I see stories like a country who's an eight figure earner. Like you, Gabby, who also, you guys have been traveling the whole world. And then I see people who really inspire me to more. And I, I remember one of the things that they mentioned is that we either going to go to space this for two weeks, two reasons. One's desperation, the other one is inspiration. I'm a both. I was desperate, but I was also inspired to do it big. I was also inspired to, and I come from a place where uh, I made so many mistakes in my younger life. I didn't feel worth worthy. I didn't feel I was capable. Um, I, I would compare myself with other people, with other people who were successful. Well, that guy, this guy went to college. He got, you know, he got all the good stuff. These people all became successful. They got great jobs. And I had to learn that that's just an excuse. It's a mindset shift. You know, although I, I missed out on last night's training, I was helping my daughter a bit. Um, I know that mindset shift is a, is a need. So I needed to shift that. So I'm going to share a little bit of my screen to share a bit. But I want you to understand tonight, especially now on Valentine's season, happy Valentine's Day, build a view, everybody on here. I want to be able to take you to the softest place on earth. And that's your heart. I want you to open your heart, open your mind. If you're here for the first time, if you're trying to get rid of the person who invited you, if you, I don't know what they told you. They presented you an opportunity to make money, to better your health, or to find freedom, whatever it may be. I just want you to open your heart tonight and take the message. I am the messenger. I'm not the message. But I want you to understand something. This guy here was able and is able to create a tiny bitty of success. I'm going to un un unarm you all excuses that you can possibly think of. Like from losing it all, we were infected with, uh, at one point, we were infected with bed bugs. We had to throw everything out. Everything. Beds, couches, you know, even TV just in case. And had again, it was kind of a restart. We had to start from zero. Here I am getting two jobs at eight bucks back then, seven something, and it still wasn't enough. So when I met this, when Jose Camacho was my, my upline, it's not my sponsor, it's my upline. When he offered me this, he didn't offer me an opportunity to just make money. Now, I want to be clear on that, because if you want to make money, you go to Uber, Ooh, get an Amazon account, whatever. There's ways to make money out there, but to make money and find freedom, I don't, I don't hear much. I don't hear any out there of that. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to share, as I'm sure, a little bit of my story. I want you to really open up. And, and like I always say, if you got something on the stove in the back burner, maybe turn it off. If you're driving, you want to really pay attention, maybe park your side. Uh, I don't want, I don't want to be accused of you hit somebody on the road or something like that. And all the road rage going out there, but you don't want to be. You want to be distracted. So I, I want you to be here tonight. All right. To be honest, I was introduced to this about 11, almost 11 years ago. But I first started just, you know, 
buying the product. You're going to learn about the product, which is pretty sure. And I wasn't really seeing the business opportunity because I needed to shift, shift my mind. And then I had to learn this. Take this into your heart. It's not our abilities, but our choices that determine who we become. So no matter what economic accolades you might have, um, there's people who have incredible careers and they have great jobs and great professions. But deep down inside, they're missing something because they would rather be with their family on a holiday or on a weekend or on a special day on any occasion than be at their job. Because a lot of people, and I'm not saying that most, but a lot of people see their families. The only way they spend time with their family is that picture on the desk that they look at every day. And they miss out on so much stuff. So, this is me. I work for a public transportation company in Northeast over here in North in Jersey. Um, this is what I do during the day. Then in the afternoon, I had become something that I'm still becoming. Because that's the process. I'm not just a human being. I'm a human becoming. And I, I'm looking for that every day. I strive to become the best version of myself. I don't want to stay just a static or stay just in one place. It's part of the team of Brazil. Beautiful people, beautiful culture. Um, I'm so glad that I've met people from all over, being able to help people that are, I mean, he, this person right here, it's, he's a contractor of construction. Um, money is not his problem, but he doesn't see his family. You know, I've met incredible people beyond all the, you know, all the money benefits that you can get, all the economic benefits. You meet amazing people like on here tonight on Awakening America. We have Gabriela Daughtry, Dave Daughtry, we got Anna Rocio, we got Claudia, we got, I mean, you name it. All these amazing rock stars we have well, up in here tonight. Through all this opportunity, been able to go. We went to Orlando, family vacay, which over there was a convention. So one of the batches I'm going to mention is when you have a home-based business, you can put this on your taxes and your vacations can become now a business trip. But we're going to talk about that later. We don't want to talk too much about that now. I went to Puerto Rico recently, and this is all stuff that I wasn't able to do with all the jobs and, and everything I was doing. So now been able to cross the stage, be recognized. Recently came from Utah with my wife. This is my mentor, my upline, not directly my sponsor, but the man who introduced me to this opportunity. And he said, I see something different in you. I see you can inspire people. You're going to touch lives. You're going to become a leader. I'm like, a leader? Like, what the? I like, couldn't even pronounce that. But he believed in me. And that's the power of a team. Power of amazing people who believe in you. Lock arms with you and say, we're going to do this together. You're not by yourself. We're going to walk together. Because guess what? I didn't know all the... I needed to learn all the ropes. I needed to learn where the pitfalls come. But that's the guy he saw right there on the left. So imagine you, somebody like him who's already a professional. He's uh, and he, he's, he's my boss. He's the one who got me the job after tr the train company. And he's an operational manager. So he saw for me an opportunity to better my life and to become more in life so I can touch lives. But that's the guy he's seeing, you know, I'm braided up, long hair, swag pants. That was me. Now, obviously, yeah, the suit and the doesn't change anybody. But when you start changing the inside, everything else outside changes. So you got to switch your mind. You got to shift that mind, shift your heart and start, you know, filling in your head with the stuff that you need, the right information. But what's going on right now? What are the hopes out there? Look at everything that's happening. So many threats, pandemics, wars, inflation, crisis all over. So there wasn't much hope. It's been happening for a while. We're like, man, what business? What business am I going to bring? And I remember looking at my wife and I'm like, I'm telling her, babe, um, I just got introduced to an opportunity. I'm going to start my business. She's like, what? What five million dollars short? What are you talking about business? You know? But Everybody on here today, we have something in common. We got dreams. Dreams of living a life of abundance, being healthy, you know, being financially stable or free. Get your own house, travel with your family, and living a life of happiness. Because overall, you don't just want to live a life of abundance, 
You want to do what's happy, what brings you happiness. You know, um, I read a quote today that says, doing what you like brings you bright, makes you bright, uh, makes you love what you do, but doing what you love makes you happy. And that's different. You can find a, a, anything out there that can probably bring a little bit of joy, but when you're happy and where you're at, it's like they say, you will never work again. But what are the options out there? I'm asking Camacho back then. We were in a, at, at somebody's house in a living room. I got my arms crossed. I'm like lean back. Like, okay, what is he going to talk to me about? What are the options? Well, you can go get another job, get two, three jobs, get a job like Dave Dodger says, and, and just work your life off. That's it. That's great. You know, and just work till you die. It sounds hard, but trust me, where I work right now, I have met gentlemen who are 74 years old. And they're still working because every time the cost of living keeps going higher and higher and you just got to try to catch up you can go to school get a degree and just you know be in debt with uh school uh a student loan for the rest of your life you can start your own business but you need capital and you need to know exactly where to invest your money because that's per se most business they disappear within the first three to five years or you could partner with a successful successful company and team to build your global network. And this is where it caught my attention. And I, I've heard that, you probably heard that cliche quote that says your network, it, it will, you know, will bring your net worth. And that's true. The people you surround yourself with are going to add to your life. So you got to choose wisely who you surround yourself with. Now, let me share with you what's a winning option. Can I learn? about years ago. We're allowed to have, be part of globalization, have a rentability that you can actually do something and get paid for not just starting something, but it just continues. You can make money when you sleep and you can do something well done once and get paid for the rest of your life through a residual passive income that it's a re reoccurring income. Be part of a community of change makers where that's what call my attention because uh, I didn't have too many good friends in the past. In the past. So what are the benefits? I'm, I would ask, all right, if you're going to go get a job right now, what are the benefits? Well, the first benefit that I mentioned before, anybody who starts a home based business, any creator right now, we're going to talk about creators later, you can actually, you know, you qualify for different tax breaks and different tax credits. You can save money on taxes, even if you're not making money so get where your cpa ask them about this let them know if you're ready if you started or you're ready to start how can you put this as a business or how you can start saving on taxes with this now we got a turnkey system uh we got an app that has uh with crm for your content to share your content manage your business very low investment for any average person to start any business from the comfort of your fault and you earn while you learn get paid for you start part of an incredible uh industry called wellness industry right now just 4.2 trillion so all this was just clicking into my head i'm like okay so this is the company what's the company what is happening what's the industry i had no clue so if you're on here for tonight you're not quite understanding what this is about you're okay <laughs> you're going in the right direction because i didn't understand either and you don't need to and that's okay now why should life First thing is that the administration of this company is incredibly impe impeccable. Like there is nothing bad to say about these people. They've been committed ever since day one. They used to actually, you know, tell the other companies how to succeed. They started their own company for 25 years and, and they have right now experience. They have been the same owners ever since. Manufacturing now their own products. They don't depend on nobody. Over a thousand employees all over the world, multinational in seven countries. 60 world patents on product technology, but guess what? They have an exclusive patent of one of the biggest discoveries in prevention science in the world. Uh, we're not going to talk about that right now. Ask the person who invited you to give you more information, but they were so smart that when I heard about this, it blew my mind because they took this molecule that actually helps your body to react, respond, and remember any potential threats to your body. And they took this and put it in all consumable products that people out there are, are raining for, looking all over the world. They're viral products. People now, more than ever, are looking for immune system products. They have 
a, a, a discovery. We don't have anything like, like they said. We don't have another, it's not another me too company. <laughs> now, they took this and put in skincare, anti-aging, digestive health, fitness, general wellness. But overall, how strong is immune wellness? That's why I work. They're called the immune system company, right? It's not just another one. So if you're on here tonight and you're probably asking like I did last time, Back then, we didn't have so many options to start, but now we have more than ever many ways. There's four ways to start participating in for life, and these are the smart ways to make money in 2023. It's a smart way because the other ways are not so smart. They're not going to give you freedom. Well, the first thing is you start taking care of your health. That's one that's very smart right now. What if it's happening all over the world? You can become a customer. You're part of for life. The second one is being a brand and brand ambassador hey right now one of the biggest economic uh economy producing industry or uh yeah industry is the content creation content creators out there are huge and they become influencers these influencers are willing because they love how they can easily move and push products out there the benefits is you, you speak to, a, to an influencer, hey, you know, I would like to present you an opportunity, see if you're open to make some extra money. Doing what you already do, just show us some products, showcasing them sometimes in your, in your videos, and you get paid. You buy a wholesale, sell at retail, have a nice shop, have a virtual online business, um, online store, earn up to 25% for every sale, and no network marketing involvement whatsoever. You don't need to sign up. You don't need to be uh, consuming every month. You don't need, no, no, no. You don't need a membership like that. You can just promote the products and you get paid. See, this wasn't like that back then. The other way is you can have your own online store with an e-commerce platform called My Shop. You get all the benefits as a customer. Buy and sell, sell at retail. You get the 25% also of uh, every single sale that you can make. Every day, you get paid every single day, right? Now, that's how it says, every single day. But the one that caught my attention that night is that you're able to build your own business. And this is the one I had to suggest. <laughs> Excuse me. What? You're going to make money passively in a recurring income. You're going to get all the benefits on the previous, earn extra cash with the bonuses, Qualifying sunset trips, you create a network and residual income, recurrent income that can be passed down to three generations for your kids and your children's children and so on. And you build something that once it's solidly built, no one is going to stop it. As Dave Dutchery was an eight figure earner for 25 years already, and he's still getting paid on the people he started with, basically. So these are stuff that I don't want to cover too much. I want you to sit with the person who invited you to get back with them and ask them, how do I start making these bonuses with the monthly bo uh, build the bonus? And how do I start building a passive income that's going to continue to grow whether you want it or not? People know people from here in other cities, other countries, all over the world. And now with technology, you cannot stop this. You are not going to be able to stop it. Because once you start building it, it's going to continue. Now, on an average... Let's say people right now are looking for an extra of 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 500 bucks, a thousand. Whatever your need or your desire is, whatever your number is, you can make it through here. There are no limits. You don't have any limits. Nobody's going to cut your check. No, you're making too much. No, 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 no. You can make as much as you want. And that blew my mind. Because I'm like, man, I give it my all at work. I come out sometimes like literally my body's just shaking and I don't get an extra penny. I get paid the same by the hour. But guess what? I learned this different way of making, doing this. Now, back then when we started, I had to go give presentations up over there in New Hampshire, up in Massachusetts, all over Jersey, wherever we could do. You know, that's spending gas, spending on toll. Uh, sometimes you're hungry and you've got to eat something on the road. You're spending money. You're blow burst blowing up your health because you're really getting much not getting much rest. But guess what? Not everybody joined. Now you do it from the comfort of your phone. So get with the person who invited you tonight and choose which option is the best for you. Start a game plan. Design a still story for you because there's no limits. With the, with four life research, the immune system company, you can literally 
build anything and everything you ever wished. So that being said, I want you to take this in your heart. You might think, well, that's just me palming your head. But we got some guests tonight. And I'm going to let Gabby bring her on the stage because it's not just me. We're a community of people all over the world willing to lock off with you and, and just take your right hand and say, let's go. You got goals? Let's make this happen. You got dreams? I want to see your dreams come true. Anything you want to wish you want to do, you can make it happen. So thank you, Gabby. Thank you for having me here tonight. It's an honor to share part of my story and how this has helped me and blessed my life and how I'm blessing others. But now, I just got to give it to you and let the other ones decide whether it's just something they want to do. And if not, see you in five years. <laughs> great presentation, Omar. Um, you hit a, a lot of great points. But before I go on about those, I want to present one of the ladies with the most beautiful smile that I've ever seen, Ana Rocio. She's going to give us an amazing testimony um, of whatever it is she has prepared for us. Why don't you share with us, Ana Rocio? Um, hello, Gabby, and thank you for this opportunity to share with you a part of my life that has been changed thanks to For Life and thanks to people like you, like Dave, Oman, and Claudia, and everyone that is here in this uh, meeting. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I did as Omar said. I went to college. I did um, study civil engineering. And after working about six years in Colombia, I, all the time, since I started working, I, I, I was thinking, God, is that everything? I, I think, you, I mean, I could do more. So then I decided, six years after, I decided to move to London, England. And I lived there, and I did an MBA in finance, and thinking that everything was taking me to a better place, but nothing happened. Then I decided to came back to Colombia and uh, my mom was really sick and a friend, a really good friend of mine told me about the products for like products. And I was like, um, I don't know if my mom, because I was, I, I saw her really sick. I thought if, if she thinks this, this would help her, we can do it. And then we started taking them for her and. My mom's uh, health changed completely. And then I was thinking, I don't need them because I'm, I'm really healthy. I was thinking I was really healthy, but to name a few, I was uh, with, I suffered on my life almost for from acne and I had a uh, gastritis. Mm. I was high flus all the time. Uh, and a lot of things, I mean, there were like nine illnesses that People was telling me that they were normal. For example, menstrual cramps. Uh, all of that it started disappearing when I started taking the products. I love the products. I love to be healthy. I don't want to be old and be sick. I want to be old and be beautiful and inside and outside. And this is what I learned here with For Life, with all of you. Knowing that nowadays, something that I started a few time ago, I'm still earning from what I started, as Dave says. It's something that is amazing when you go and see your account and see that money is coming from something that you did a few days, few months, few years ago. And it's a, the idea is to, to change our lives. I saw that everything is inside me. I've learned it here. I'm, I still do some uh, jobs like teaching English and other things, but for me, this is a passion that I want to become an entrepreneur really as soon as you are. And this is the best opportunity ever. I never seen anything. I, I thought that going to England, I was going to see a better uh, thing, but it was the same. It was another country, another culture, another language, but it was the same. Employment, no, nothing, nothing. There wasn't freedom because other person always was saying what I had to do. And now I can take decisions thanks to this opportunity, to these products, to being able to share a meeting and Zoom room with you and learning 
to have that uh, entrepreneurial mi mindset. So I know it. And anyone that is new here, I just tell you there is nothing better. And thanks to the technology, we can be together. I'm in Colombia, Bogota, and here there are people from all over the world. So this is um, a little bit of my story. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ana Rocio. Some of us make good money in our jobs. I want to share with you how um, I enjoy watching Omar's Instagram Reels. And for those of you that have not yet um, friended him on Instagram, I highly, highly recommend it. So what I want to do right now is, for those of you that um, haven't seen his Reels, let me find in here. And this is just because I want to share. It's not for everybody to um, to do these kind of reels, but it's very educative for me because I'm into Instagram, Facebook. That's how I promote my business as well. So let me just show this one here. Um, let me see. Oh my gosh, this is... You know, Omar, this is my problem. <laughs> I can't get the sound on. No. Let me see. I turned the sound off on my phone so I could... So I could um, not have that echo. Um, okay, hold on. Variants of BPIFB4G, known as longevity gene, right? But also, there's a protein found that is called the BPIFB4 protein, the one that gives elasticity to the blood vessels and slowing down and reversing the natural aging process. Now that's powerful. It takes hard to live better. If you want to get my sources, just comment Gene. I'll be glad to share with you exactly what they are. Go ahead. Go on. So I enjoy watching his reels. And obviously, like I said, these kind of reels uh, are to promote our business and to kind of throw little seeds here and there about our our what we do and how we do it. And um, this is a, a so where know, they talk about trying or disputing. Maybe they need more evidence on the study that talks about restricting calories to live longer, basically. Right. So they said it's all noise. I, I mean, I don't know. Let's hear from somebody who does know. Listen to Dr. David Sinclair's take on it. The ones that live the longest, by far, 30% longer and stay healthy are the ones that don't eat all the time. Um, actually, it was first discovered back in the early 20th century, but people ignored it. And that was rediscovered in uh, the 1930s. Clyde McKay did they did it again CNN just really so if you have some time go through his reels they're very educative as well and you could also share his reels on your stories and if he's talking about a certain product you can share them with your friends on Instagram so it's like he's broadcasting and we can utilize his reels now, since we don't all, like me, I don't know how to make these professional-looking reels, um, you can always share his. And uh, I think, Omar, you do an amazing, amazing job. So maybe you can close by telling us a little bit more about how you go about doing that. Awesome. Sure. Well, thank you for that. Um, well, this is something I've been learning a little bit. I'm doing it a bit different. Now, a lot of people think, I've gotten from other people that even in the company, hey, you stop going for life, what happened? No, I'm just doing it different. You know, and I use social media to create content. I, I pump some value out there. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the product. I'm going to talk about, but I don't even mention the name of the product. I will showcase the product. I'll talk about benefits that we have. So when people reach out to me and want to know more about that, yeah, I'll give them the sources. I'll give them the whatever article, but hey, it is also where I found, you know, that field found, found. I use that all the time and it works, it works like a charm. So I kind of, I create 
the, but there's two ways of um, building any business. I mentioned that in my training as well. Marketing and prospecting. Um, you got to go both. I prospect every day, reach out to people, but I also create marketing. To attract those people who hop on my on my on my platform, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. So uh, whoever was on the last training last week, while well, I was talking about creating an ecosystem for your business. So you reach out to people. Hey, are you open to taking a look? Well, we do make some extra money, whatever. If not, no big deal. So even if they say no, they're gonna see your content on social media. What's this guy talking about? So they, some people actually come back. They each even comment. They would actually reach out to them. Man, they comment on the videos, mostly on TikTok or anywhere else. Hey, you know, that thing you were mentioning, what is that exactly about? So now I have a chance to, you know, give them the opportunity or share with them the product. A lot of people on social media, they're afraid because of all this stuff that's happening to really hop on the opportunity. But when they see a product and you share the information from the app, and you share a link from a video and they see most of the time they will buy because people are more like they will be concerned more about their health especially now so i create content based on i look for pain points what i do i look for pain points what are people and actually try to get into people's conversation so people are uh this might be something you guys can use <laughs> I, I laugh but at the same time i'm aware of it but I laugh because I understand the psychology of marketing. Now, people fear sales just like other stuff. Fear in a way, in a good way, sells. So if you know how to how to go around that without necessarily talking negative, without creating anything, especially if you got something back that backs you up, you create content based on that fear that is going on in people's conversation, and then you create you have a solution. Because now you got the products. So people are so concerned. I mean, I was born in 1980, so as a 42 year old, year old grandpa, uh, I think now I look even my wife tells me, you look better now than high school. That's like the biggest compliment she can give me ever. So I take that in advantage because ever since we I've been using the products, obviously, yes, I've seen, I've noticed it, especially the one that Claudia had the the gold factor, that is something that has helped me incredibly. Like, I have to go and pick up my grandson at school. They're like, hey, here comes your dad. I'll take it. I'm <laughs> You know what? So, they, he looks at them like, what are you talking about? But I'll take it. Now, I use that mostly, to be honest, like like Anna Rocio said, we don't, a lot of people want to live looking younger. You know, like Les Brown says, I want to die young at an older age. So many people now are thinking about staying looking younger and all that. And it's becoming a necessity for people. But guess what? Without your immune system, you can also age. If your immune system is bad, you start looking older. You, your, your cells seem to age faster. We got the collagen. We got, I got uh, some, I call it the liquid Botox. So if you know, if you look at my videos, I got videos that are saying, oh, you want to get my liquid Botox? You know, let me know. And people don't know, but they want to know. They're like, what is the liquid Botox? Now I have these massive conversations where I take people into my inbox, create a conversation. I would just send a link. I'll start a conversation to see their need. And I kind of stretch it out. Sometimes you're gonna be you're gonna find rude people. They're gonna find and those don't even mind. If they're rude with you, don't even sell going. I mean, if they want to buy, don't ever cut a sale. That's something I say. But if they're being rude with you and calling you names or being disrespectful, don't even follow the conversation. But most of the time you get amazing people. They're really interested, they want to know more, and guess what? You keep them close enough to the fire, the campfire, one one day something's gonna happen, they catch a spark. They may want to join you, they may want to continue buying. At the end of the day, we get paid for what people buy. So it's creating content based on a need, whether that be money, it could be health, it could be time, it could be uh that you know, that single mom who's trying to pay the light bill, that single uh, Gen X mom or, or Gen X dad who's trying to play with their kids but you know their joints are hurting or kind of like that so creating content constantly to the pain of others not not necessarily using the pain and advantage it's just you have a solution for them because trust me once they try the product they're coming back 
they're coming back. And a lot of people say, oh, but, you know, it's pricey because some people complain about price. Well, yeah. I just found recently, this is recently, uh, getting a coaching call with Ray Hickman. He was like, well, when people do say that, because they do, you let them know. Hey, listen, you know, the company could have gotten something cheaper and less quality, but they decided to invest in something that really works. If you want it, amen. If not, don't be deal. So I've learned to work with that. You get experience, like I mentioned at the beginning, entrepreneurship is not romantic. You're going to go through the process and grow through the process, but I've learned how to do it different. And, and I'm learning. I haven't learned. I'm learning the ropes on how to do it through social media. You'd be surprised the amount of conversation you can get in a day, 10, 15, 20 conversations a day. I'm not saying sales. You're not going to sell to everybody, but you're going to get into conversations. And people are going to know more about you. And they're going to know more about your products and know more about your business. And that just helps you to expose more because if you're like me and you work eight hours, maybe nine, you don't have all day to have conversations with people. So you create content, you get eyeballs on your content, you bring them into your inbox, create conversations, and you like keep them in your in your business ecosystem. So they're going coming and going. They feed on your video, they go into your inbox, they keep asking, and there's, there's people who, who have bought, they're still buying. And I have never had a business conversation with them. They just hopped on one of the gold part, uh, videos. I talk about um, how to actually extend your telomeres, the importance of uh, electrons in your body, um, what doctors won't tell you. Don't, don't, you know, they, they get your attention. What your doctor won't tell you, but you know. And so stuff like that, you create content based on that. People, one, they're nosy. They want to know. And two... They're concerned. They're really concerned. So I'm just learning how to market myself in a different way. And I think uh, when I get feedback, like from you, Gabby, from Dave, from Dave, from Claudia, from all, all a lot of people in here, when I get that type of feedback, I'm like, oh my God, I really believe I can do something like this. So that pumps me up because you make me believe more in myself. And I'm like, I'm going for it. Because at first, you kind of like hesitate. Am I doing it right? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. But, but when you get feedback like amazing people like you guys, then I know that, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to keep doing it like this. So if you guys want to go and share your stories, put your link on my uh, Share your stories. You can share the link with your link in the stories, which is also something you can do on, on, on Instagram. You can, you can do it by my, my reels and my TikToks. Um, you can, if you want to just... Copy them and do the same yourself. More than welcome. I want everybody to grow at the same pace. And 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 to be honest, I'm not looking for being viral. I'm just looking to be effective. I want to be able to touch the right people. You're going to speak to the right people. You're going to speak to the right people. Just be like, thank you. Just do it. Press that record button. Post it perfectly. And go, you know, go fix it as you go. Tweak it as you go. Very good, Omar. Thank you for offering that. I mean, gosh, what a treat. You do the work and we benefit from it. But, you know, we'll make you go viral, that's for sure. Um, but, yeah, it's it's um, they're great reels and I, I enjoy watching them. And when I do get on Instagram, um, when I usually, it takes me a while. It takes me maybe an hour to do a post for a reel. So, 